Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content available maths in the first year. Here we're looking at linear inequalities so that you can answer questions on exercise 3D. So linear inequalities, so we're basically solving equations such as this. 2x minus 5 is less than 7. And what we're going to be doing with this is following all of the rules of moving, an equa moving um, letters and numbers onto one side or the other side of an equation so that we end up with just x is bigger than something or x is less than something. So in this case here it'd be pretty simple just to add on 5 to both sides and divide through by 2 and you get x is less than 6. So just as you did with equations um, just keep the inequality sign in there and move things from one side to the other. Now the only thing you can't do, the only exception to this, is that you can't times by a negative number or divide by a negative number. Um, if you do, make sure that you reverse the sign. Let me show you why. So at the moment, we're pretty happy that 3 is a bigger number than 2. And when we times both sides by, say, a negative number, let's choose the easiest negative number of minus 1, we're going to get minus 3 is now all of a sudden a bigger number than minus 2. And we know that that's not the case. We know that minus 3 is a smaller number than minus 2. So in fact, that's not quite right. When you do multiply by a negative number, make sure that you also flip around the sign like I've done here. And now this makes sense. Minus 3 is less than minus 2. OK. So let's have a go at some more of these examples. So in this case here, we've got 5x plus 9 is greater than or equal to x plus 20. So I think the first thing we'll do here is we'll take away x on the other side, take away 9, and divide through by 4. And we get x is bigger than or equal to 2.75. Now here we didn't need to use those negative rules, and you rarely do, but it's just in case you need to. In the next question here, we've got 12 minus 3x is less than 27. So in this case here, we can subtract the 12 and divide through by 3. Now with this negative here, we can either add it onto the other side and take away the 5, or what we can do is we can multiply by minus 1, but make sure we reverse the sign when we do that. Okay, so this is how you could solve the equation um, using this reversing the sign rule when you multiply by minus 1. The same thing works as well when you divide by numbers that are negative. So for example, if I was dividing by negative 2, I would have to do 3 or minus 3, flip the sign as well, is less than minus 2. So make sure it uh, works for negatives as well. Right, next one, a bit more tricky this one. Make sure we expand this negative bracket correctly. So we're going to get 3x minus 15 minus, uh, is greater than 5 minus 2x, and double negative there will be plus 16. Add your 2x on the other side, add your 15, divide through by 5, and x is bigger than 7.2. Okay, what we're going to do now is looking at solving a pair of linear inequalities where the x value has to satisfy both of these rules. Okay, so what we do is we solve these independently, just like we are here. So add the 5, divide through by the 2, and we get x is a less than 6.5 number. And solve the other one just as you would naturally as well. So x here is bigger than minus 2. So if we want the values of x that satisfy both of these equations, let's think about it on a number line, what we need for the first um, solution here is for our number to be less than 6.5, and for the second solution here we need it to be bigger than minus 2. So the region of values that satisfy both of those inequalities, where they both have a, uh, a line through them, is in between minus 2 down to uh, up to x and up to 6.5. So our x value has to be in between minus 2 and 6.5. For example, 1. Let's try putting 1 in. We're going to get minus 2 is less than 9. And we're going to get um, 
5 is uh, bigger than minus 7, which works. Okay, um, so let's have a go at another one of these. So remember, we work on these independently, and then we look at uh, combining them later on. So solve the first equation as you would normally, so x is bigger than 3. Solve the second equation as you would normally, so here we get x is uh, less than 2. And draw those on a little number line. x is bigger than 3. Uh, x is less than 2. All right, so in this case, we don't get any values of x that satisfy both of these equations. Because one of these equations need numbers of x to be less than 2. And another one of these equations need x to be bigger than 3. So in this case here, we get no answers that work for both of these sets of inequalities. Okay, final one, I hope. So we're going to uh, subtract 7 and divide through by 4. So remember, we work on these independently. So here, x is bigger than minus 1. And in this case here, solving this independently as well. So in this case here, x is going to be a bigger than number than 3. So plotting this on a number line, x has to be bigger than minus 1 for the first one. And x has to be bigger than 3 for the second one. So the region of values that satisfy both of these inequalities is when x is bigger than 3. OK, your turn then. Uh, have a go at this question. See if you can put your answer in set notation. Otherwise, I'll show you how to at the end of the video. Right, well done for having a go at this question then. Let's set up a straight line through the middle there and solve these equations separately. So 3x minus 6 is bigger than x minus 4. So let's uh, take away x from the right-hand side and add 6 onto the other side. Divide through by 2 and we know that x has to be bigger than 1. Let's sort out the right-hand side of this as well. So we're going to get taking away 2x from both sides. Taking away 12 from both sides. Whoops. Uh, positive 5, sorry. And um, halving both sides. We're going to get 2.5. So in this case here, along a number line, we're going to have all of the x numbers that are bigger than 1 and all of the x numbers that are bigger than 2. So the equation that sat the values of x that satisfy both of these inequalities here is just going to be x is bigger than 2.5. So in this case here, the set notation would read x exists in the real set of numbers such that x is bigger than 2.5. So that's how you'd write it in set notation. Right, OK, then have a go at questions in example 3D. Remember, watching this video is only 10% of the learning. The 90% comes through having a go at questions, persevering through those questions, finding out where you are struggling through asking questions of your teacher to help you. Right, thanks for watching.